get that bird. I dropped off my goods and I refilled my coffee and I asked if they had any cookies they were gonna put out. Normally they do. Well, hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and today Barb and I are here at the Chirping Frog Emporium here in Warden, Illinois. So we're gonna head on inside and see what they've got. Now this is something that I don't ever really show on camera, but they're pretty popular around here and I'd imagine most of the country, maybe. They are, they are lightning rod glass bowls and they have them in milk glass and the blue glass really cool and um, $170 for that one right there with uh, the arrow and everything this one 80 well it's actually 80 for that ball and then 65 and then 65 yeah so those are nice little pieces of them lightning rods for the top of your barn or house so that you know you don't get electrocuted when you're in the bathtub is that an old wives tale or is that legit like I, I'm like the rebel that will take a bath when it's raining outside, just to prove a point. But nobody knows about it, so. <laughs> um, I don't worry about it. I don't either. Like it's a whole. I think people are overly worried. Yeah. About getting electrocuted. I mean, my goodness. It might actually help if you get electrocuted. Maybe I'll, I'll turn out to be more normal. Sixteen dollars for those mud birds and their lustery finish. And look at the people with the paper plates on their head. <laughs> I don't get it. But they're $52. Are they nuns of some type? Yeah. Like oh, they're Dave, nuns. Dave Grossman? It's just that their hats look more different than most. <gasps> Ooh, that's a pretty, look at the open lad, open lace bowl. That's lovely. $13? No way. Look at this. Oh, that's a heavy situation too. Oh my goodness. For like a, real? Is there must be a problem for $13. It almost looks like a teardrop or something. Well, <laughs> um, I'm going to look this over because I am interested in this one. It is a beautiful, almost looks like a, a, a tree, let's say, a tree. So I like it. I'll take a look at it up close and let you know if I don't get it. But I'll probably get it unless I tell you I won't get it. So just pretend I'm gonna get it. All right, these are so cool. They look like candy corn to me. They're $3 each for the Fire King orange and yellow coffee mug. They're stacking. Barb, should I get all three of these or just the two? I'm looking at two, like, you know, for, cause you know, two is an even number. Yeah. Maybe you want the other one. They're $3 each. They look like candy corns hmm. and they're Fire King, Inker Hawking Fire King. They're cute. I thought so. I got excited about it. <laughs> Do you want the other third? No, because I mean, I have so many restaurant wear mugs. I'm just going to get the two. I think they're adorable together and that's what I'm going to do. So that's, that's the plan. Oh, lots of things. This is the one booth that we usually have done well in, but they're running a little low on stuff I want. That's always a shame. Usually I walk out of here with like three or four things. This one booth. Time. Oh, really? That's really sad. Um, there's a tape dispenser. That's cute. Very retro. And grandma back there in her thing. Pickup sticks, paperweight, Snoopy. Is that Snoopy? Fort Yank. I don't know if that's supposed to be Snoopy or like a knockoff, but it's a bank with floppy ears. Nice. I dropped off my goods and I refilled my coffee and I asked if they had any cookies they were gonna put out. Normally they do. I spotted this crystal vase. It was hanging up there next to Santa Claus, blow mold for 65, $15. So this is a cut crystal vase as opposed to some of the molded ones and um, has nice fine detail. I love it. So we'll decide what we're gonna do. I might hang on to it or I might sell it. It's small enough, it's a small enough size that I could, I could sell it online. It's heavy though, as crystal normally is. But this makes my third crystal vase, so I could technically cluster them together. And, the, well, there's no flowers in, well, yeah, actually there are flowers in the large one in the dining room. Oh. But then the one in the bedroom is kind of empty. But that's okay, I should put flowers in them all and, and make them look beautiful. Um, so, we're gonna keep looking and hopefully we find some more good stuff. 
I have never in all my days seen one of these. It is an open wing bluebird of happiness and a tiny little bit, a tiny little bird right next to it. And 850, oh, look at the candies. The candies and the green, it's in the, um, the um, they don't call that green crest, do they? They call it um, emerald crest, if my memory's correct. In the emerald crest, Hinton. Well, for 15, I'm definitely that bird. Get that bird. And they got more candies. Oh, they're individually priced at $10 each. That's okay. All right. So um, I'm going to do that. I'm going to get actually, should I just, should I get the little one too? I'm not, the small birds like that, I don't ever see. And we see like normal sized birds, but tiny ones? Maybe it's the day to do both of them and be extra. Okay, there's a squirrel, a blue squirrel. Maybe like Blanco did that one, or Viking. There's a turtle back there in, at 1750. So this is case number in, or letter in, not number in. Case, letter in. That's a pretty yellow stretch glass for $102.50. What an interesting price. Not 99, not 100, 102. <laughs> That's really pretty yellow stretch. So case in, like it. Oh, that's a pretty bird up here. You're a pretty bird. Look at this one with the colors, 17. That's not bad. Barb, would you like to buy a bird for 17.50? The colors are great. No. No. And there's a pin cushion and more paperweights and more ladies. And a poodle. Grand opening. Ooh, so this is 20% off. I guess they're just starting it out. Oh. That's cool. This green. It's um, Regal Line. Is it plastic? Yeah, it is. Oh, okay. I was like, it doesn't look like glass. So it's plastic. Have you seen, you must have seen this one before. Oh, yeah, I saw it in the photos that they posted. Oh, okay. That's, those are, those are weird. I know, I was just trying to figure those out yeah that open the open lace heart is kind of different and the pink the the wooden chest is is kind of different too the tag is 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 not the right direction that's a cool sword fish it says lofisa lofisa for 68 dollars. that's really pretty with the blue and then they've got this nice little pottery here camark 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 is that the ones that does the cats C-A-M-A-R-K. Yeah, I think so. I think so for $26. And they have some more Yagi here in the, with the, the vase. 20% off in the ladyhead vase. They've got that at $75. She has flowers coming out of her head. And other little vases and stuff. The dresser girls, I've always liked them. Um, this one says China box. Now it might be porcelain and it also might be German but we could take a look underneath it and see. And we don't know, there's a fleur-de-lis on it. There's a fleur-de-lis on it, so maybe it's French or something. Is but that a turtle shell? Where? I guess oh, it is. It is. Uh -huh. It's lost its armor in battle. That's all that's left. <laughs> all right, let's keep going. Pretty sure this is my first time seeing glass babies or glassy babies in person. And they're not that old. I think they still make them, right? Yes. Yeah, they still produce these, but they're very desirable. $65 they have for each one of these. I don't know if that's legitimate. I haven't looked. I don't know what they're really going for, but maybe maybe 65 each. Do you happen to know, like on I eBay? I don't know for sure. It, I guess it depends what color they are. Yeah, so they got this like honey color and then this like white, creamy white color. Uh, milk, like a milk color. I, I don't know. There's a piece of Blendo down there and somebody hand painted it. So that's done by like somebody else, not the factory. This is a mid-century picture in the Blendo with the purple. And then somebody painted flowers. They also have this chalkware down here for $4 each. I was looking at it. Um, I don't know, the, the paint job on those are not as kitschy as I'd like. I mean, they are, they're anthropomorphic, but I don't know, 1976. I think probably that's why. If they were from the 50s, I would be more about it. Or, or even early 60s. That's a nice like, roll top desk. Oh, that's so pretty. I like the wood on it. Yeah. 
For three twenty-five is not much, and the wood grain is pretty. Mm -hmm. Dovetail drawers. Treasure Craft Butterfly for six dollars. I spotted this antique milk glass toothpick holder, and you know what was I? What I was drawn to is the fact that the paint is still on the majority of it. This stuff is old. It's like 120 years old, but the old milk glass like this, collectible, and. I held it up to the light and you could see the ring of fire, Let's see if it'll focus. Um, where's the light? Oh, there it is. So you can see a little bit of that gold glow. It's just not one to focus. There you go. See the gold coming through? That's the ring of fire. And this has a lot of the paint on it. Minor flea bites at $6. So I'm going to do it. I like it a lot. And there we go. Look at that. I, I just think that's really neat. It's this, um, I don't know if that's like a tree root or burl wood. I, I don't really know my woods very much, but it's just an interesting organic shape and it could hold your bowling ball. I mean, I imagine for $45, what else would you want to hold? It's just a big old bowl, very unique. Very good. They've got all the Christmas over here. Look at that snowman. Oh yeah. That's a silly <laughs> goose. I haven't seen him before. It's a hold Howard Pepper. Yep. And a strawberry for 15 as is. They got a couple putts houses, some hard pat elastic boots. That's cute that it still has its little Merry Christmas I like that it. about it. It's only 10 bucks. I don't feel like that's terrible. Yeah. And then the, um, the little holly glasses. Maybe Libby did them. They've got the holly and the bows. My parents have those, I think. Oh. Or similar, very similar. I think this is a subscriber over here. If my memory's correct. So we might be able to find some things because I just think we might. You never know though. They've got a flamingo, a Christmas flamingos in there. The ornaments, those are funny. Hummingbird, only $8.50. Or no, 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 that's for a little bracelet next to it. Okay, I was like, what? The hummingbird is 35. Yeah, some pewter animals, some brooches, an interesting like brass face situation and the peacock is still here from a while ago so we keep seeing that that's nice okay what else i just spotted this pixie it's a treasure craft planter now the pixies are already really desirable treasure craft also pretty collectible together i think we've got a great scenario here so it's the pixie on a log looks like a minor color um redo right there but that's like easily gonna be hidden by a plant where it counts his head his feet his legs it's all there for $16 has its treasure craft sticker on the bottom which is pretty cool you don't often see that with these they are usually cleaned off so treasure craft I will pick that up and I really like that so Christmas is coming up but generally pixie wear stuff always collectible so <gasps> the fondue set is really neat yeah, I like that. And this cubby situation is neat. The way they have, you could just like shove all your stuff in there. Yeah, just shove it in. Just like little cubbies. Oh, you found yourself a gym shore. <gasps> I love this. Look, it's also the antique milk glass, but it's uh, large. It is. Isn't that beautiful? And it's a large open dish. How much they want on it by chance? Mm, let's see. Don't see a price. Twelve dollars. That's not bad. You're not bad at all. Oh, that's the first one I've ever seen like this. This large and everything. And it doesn't look like it ever had a lid because of the way the edge is done. By the way, I'm gonna buy it. I just gotta take all these glasses out of it. So let's just put them over here for now for just a minute just stay right there guys but look so it has this edge just like this so I would and there's no lip in the inside to catch any kind of a lid so it was open like an open console bowl um, the edges look great I don't see any chips and uh, for $12 I'm going to get it because I like it a lot and this is the largest of these like I said I wonder did anybody have any ideas of what you would use this for in relation to like a vanity or dresser situation because that's generally when I see these like little dresser boxes and stuff this is cool antique milk glass brilliant 
So Barb is looking up something. She's looking at this Jim Shore figurine to see if it's worth getting. What made you draw into this one? Oh, I was going to get it for my uh, parents for Christmas. Oh. The Shih Tzu, like they used to have. Oh, yeah. They don't have it anymore because it, it went away. Like, where they go after, you know, they get old enough. And so, that would be interesting. It looks like it's at, um, basically yeah. at the retail price. But I can't, I don't see one that I could get really cheaper with shipping on Oh, today. okay, I get it. So, you were just making sure. I don't know. I wonder if it looks enough like the one they that have. That ballerina is cute for 14. They got the cracked egg. They got the little babies. I don't know. That's an interesting idea. Yeah. This booth always has really cool stuff, and they're doing 50%. Oh, I like what they did. You can now get in this way and uh, this way, I think. Maybe. I mean, maybe, yeah. Because it, it's always been really full. 50% off. We might be able to do some interesting things in here because I do like the quality they have. Very different and unique stuff. Mm -hmm. Like these random angels that look like they just survived a fire. What else do we have? Jewelry, the cabinet. Oh, the pink pixies. They are, oh, as is for 20. Well, actually, so it would be $10, but that one's as is for, oh, the broken, they each have a broken leg. That's really sad. Really quite bad for them, you know? Oh, refrigerator door, frigid air. That's neat. What would you do with such a thing? You could stick like your mag magnet collection on it if you had one. Some vases. Yeah, the aesthetic in here is really, I like it. Look at that little girl. She has a short head. And we've got some other like little doodads down there. Okay. A Halloween candle. You know, I, I think I've rarely bought in here, but I just like looking at it. Yeah. Because you never know what you're going to see. Let's see. Anything else? Maybe not? Okay. Okay. So, I did really well in there. I found a lot more glass than anything else. Uh, the one piece of ceramic was the treasure craft, and that is really cool. But yeah, mostly everything else was glassware. But that's not, uh, that's how it is sometimes and I think generally I'm more of a glass person than most any other material um, people like glass they do and I like ceramic too but I didn't really see a whole lot in there um, and I didn't really get any fabric they didn't, they didn't nothing was jumping out at me so it was it was a glassware kind of day uh, but for now we'll wrap it up so thanks for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye bye